This video will take you through how to recall module presets in your Lake controller software. Before we get started, make sure that your Lake software and your frame firmware are up to date and your frame is connected. You can refer to our other videos to learn how to do this. First, we need to bring our frame into our workspace, and to do this, we go to Modules. Any frames that are currently connected will display in the tray at the bottom of the screen. To bring our frame into the workspace, we click, drag, and then click again. If you are using a touchscreen, you can simply hold and drag. Next, we need to load our module preset. To do this, we click on the module we want to load our preset into, go to Module Store Recall, or press F8, and find the module we want to recall from the load library. For the purpose of this video, we will choose a TurboSound Flashline High. When you select your module preset, note that the manufacturer has put with the module will appear in yellow on the left of your screen. We recommend that you have a read of these notes before using the module preset. These notes may include extra EQs or processing that we need to apply to our module. With our module and the preset selected, we simply press Recall or F3 and then Yes. This will then bring up the Output Configuration window. The module we have recalled is a two-way module. The first three lines relate to the first module. The first one isn't used in this preset, so we just have the mids and the highs. We can assign their outputs in this window by selecting which pin we want them to go to. For this purpose, we will send our mids to pin 1 and our highs to pin 2. Press Enter to save the configuration, and now we have our module recalled. If we want to see the recalled module preset settings, go to Modules and then to IO Config and Worksheets. Here you can see a block diagram of the module. You can click on the magnifying glass icon at the end of the diagram to revisit the output configuration window.